Welcome to the AP Physics Workbook Solutions. Here we have Unit 7, Torque and Rotation, and the section that we have here is 7.F, which is on rotation. Here you could read the scenario to yourself, uh, but the first point is to label and draw the forces that exert on this ladder. Okay. Um, so first of all, you want to write here, um, based on the scenario, the scenario, it says there are four forces, so there should be four arrows. The normal force from from the wall is NW. Okay. So it's from the wall. It shouldn't be going up. It should be from the wall. Okay. It pushes that way. This is force normal, and this is on the wall. They they tell you how to label it. The force normal from the floor. So here it goes up because again this is perpendicular to the um, force gravity so normal from the floor and the friction between the ladder so the force the friction is opposite so it's going to be here to the right smaller force friction and then force of gravity and force of gravity is going to go from the center of the object down right and I'm going to make that long because um, it says it right here. Force G is bigger. That's why it's longest. And F right there. And W third. And F force of friction is last. Okay. All right. So that clears this part up. Explain why force gravity has to be greater than the force normal from the wall. Okay, equations may be part of your answer, but equations alone are insufficient. So make sure you write in a complete explanation. So here, why is the force gravity bigger than the force normal? So let me read to you the important part. The ladder only remains motionless as long as the person holds it in place. When the person lets it go, the ladder accelerates downward. So if it falls down, okay, do you see how this, the force normal turns it to the right? So when it's released think about a torque happening this way okay because you see how it turns okay as it falls is that right this might be wrong because it slides down no 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 that's wrong so that's wrong for the torque i think it's this 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 should be how the torque is yeah, that's how it should be the torque is because this goes up. Force of friction slides it down. So the motion is to the right. Yeah, yeah, this looks right. Okay. So pause the video. Try part B. Hopefully you tried it. This is what I wrote. The scenario states that when the person lets go, the ladder accelerates down. The only way that actually happens if if there is a net force downwards. The force of gravity has to be larger than the force normal so that there is a net force downwards if not the ladder would not accelerate down next explain why the force um, the normal force from the floor is greater than the force of friction okay try it okay before we go to uh, that part I want you to understand that the torque is going counterclockwise here okay the torque here is going counterclockwise okay why as it goes down imagine the ladder falls uh, this goes up okay all right this goes down so it's turning okay it's turning counterclockwise all right because the ladder is going to fall something like it's going to go from here then it's going to look something like this all right you see how it moves this way all right Okay, counterclockwise. All right, so this is what I wrote. When the ladder is let go and falls, the ladder rotates counterclockwise, which is down and to the um, to the left as it um, as it turns. Okay, because it goes it goes counterclockwise, so it's down and it goes to the not right. It should be to the left as it slides. Okay. All right. It should be down and to the left so this should be to the left as it slides okay do you see it's going to the left down to the left 
all right, as it slides for a counterclockwise direction of the net torque. This must be a force upwards, given the center of the ladder. Given that the center of the ladder is the pivot point, what I mean by the pivot point is that it's the center is right here. Okay, this is the center. This is the center. Okay, the net force up is due to the normal force. Okay, being greater than the force of friction. If the force of friction was greater, the ladder would rotate the other way. So it only goes in counterclockwise is because the normal force here is greater. If the normal force is not greater, so um, so think about how this one would look like in a circle. Okay, so think about this. Okay, force of friction is like this, and force normal is like this. Now imagine rotating this; it should look something like this. All right? Okay. Then here it would be. All right. And then here. All right. And so on and so on, okay? Um, here, okay, then it would be here, okay, then it would be here, right? Okay, so it's rotating, it's rotating, and if you see this motion, it's going what? Counterclockwise, counter clock. And this is only possible because the force normal is driving it. But watch happens if this, if the force of friction, what happens if force of friction is bigger? So let's say force of friction is bigger, right? Force of friction is bigger and force normal is like this, right? So what turns it, okay? So it would be here, here, okay, right? same thing here for down to up um down there okay down here okay so notice how this is going clockwise right and this is because force of gravity is bigger okay that's what i said here the only way it has a counterclockwise is only if the force normal is greater than the force of friction in this case, right? Up is the greatest force and to the left is a little force, okay? Uh, make sure you understand these two diagrams, okay? It tells you how the two forces interact, okay? Because on the AP physics test, maybe you're given the opposite scenario, okay? Um, let's see, part D. Explain why um, the normal nw which is the normal force from the wall is greater than the force of friction okay all right so i wrote that the scenario states that the ladder accelerates uh, to the right okay this is that correct uh falls down it goes to the right yeah okay does it say it scenario blah blah and friction he then corrects the magnitude down and to the right right down and to the right Okay. Slides down. So I want you to be very careful with how this is. So what they mean by to the right is that this falls out. Okay. So this drops. So this slides out, then this drops. Okay. That's how it starts rotating. Okay. It, it rotates counterclockwise. So I wrote that the scenario states that the ladder accelerates to the right. The only two horizontal forces is left and right, okay? The only two forces here um, that act on it are your force of friction. So let me just draw this for you. Um, in the picture, the only horizontal part was the force of friction. Well, it was this way, right? Force of friction, okay? And then we have the force to the right is this one, which is super bigger, okay? Force... Oops, sorry. That's not the right notation. Um, yeah, force of, yeah, okay, we did write, write that correctly. Force of friction, and the other one is gonna be NW. Okay, to the right was NW. Okay, so the only way that these two forces, um, the only two horizontal forces are the normal force from the wall, NW, that acts to the rightwards, and the force of friction, from the floor that acts leftwards. The right 
outward force has to be greater than the left force so that there can be a net force in the right direction so if you add these two together so like this plus this it should sorry it should be a little bit bigger okay this should be equal to the net should look something like this okay right because watch this so here right do you see how if you add this apart okay the net what you have okay so these cancel out right okay right that's your net good does that make sense how i'm doing it right the vector addition here okay so that the only net force so this is the net net force is going to the right that makes sense because the ladder says accelerates to the right okay and we have part e part e blake states that the ranking should not be completely determined until it demonstrates that the normal force of friction is greater than the north uh normal um force of the wall plus the force of friction okay explain this um, expression all right so i wrote this okay the force of friction and the normal force combines to create a torque that is clockwise direction so let me draw that for you so you can get a, a visual understanding it goes clockwise so was the torque of the normal plus the torque of the force friction okay and then the um, normal force has to be greater than fn plus nw so the other one is going to be in this direction okay and this was the torque caused by the normal frictional force okay so that the system can um, rotate counterclockwise so if these two are the same right it goes to like it's at equilibrium okay so let me make this so this is how should it be look like okay so let me just draw it a little bit better hold on let me zoom in okay so here's the here let me draw the ladder okay so this is the ladder okay all right okay so we would say that the torque this is um, going to be um, clockwise this one is clockwise so let's say it's from here to here okay then the torque of the normal uh, normal force of right has to be greater than okay good so let's see if we add these up okay so let me draw it really big for you so let's say it goes from here all the way here right plus here all right now just imagine the arc length right this is equal to what so just just imagine if you like um unwind this okay so if you unwind it it should look something like this okay so the net should still be in what something like this right okay so this is the net okay and it's to the right and we said that it's this way so it's going to look like this oh smaller so it's gonna look something like this yeah all right so let me read what i just basically wrote okay 
where the normal force between the ladder and the floor is counterclockwise, which is the um, when the normal force between the ladder and the floor NW is counterclockwise, which is the orange, the NF has to be greater. So the orange has to be greater than the blue, which is this F force of friction plus uh, normal force. Okay. So the system can rotate counterclockwise down and to the right. This makes sense here because you see how the net is pointing to the right. Okay. If this equation isn't true, these wouldn't sum out. Okay. Because again, based on these forces, based on this diagram, we know that the system is supposed to rotate counterclockwise. Okay. This answer is a... The net should look something like this because this again is counter clockwise. Okay, because we talked about here. So this was counter clock and this was blue was clock. Okay, if you don't understand what I mean, 12, 9, 6, 3. That's what I mean. Counter clockwise, 12, 9, 6, clockwise, 12, and 3 to 6. Okay, but there you go. Um, this is an easy, uh, this hopefully should give you a better visual understanding of what happened here. Okay, and again, it's just adding and subtracting vectors. All right, but here you're adding and subtracting vectors in a circular world. Okay, all right, but there you go. Those are your solutions for 7.f.